there's a lot of things happening in our favorite series One Piece that you have not been paying attention off. Ever since the ending of Dressrosa arc, Luffy has been gaining influence in an almost frightening speed. You may say it's because he challenged two of the oldest emperors, Kaido and Big Mom, but I believe that to be only a small fraction of why it happened. People have really not realized that Luffy has been acknowledged by some of the strongest figures in the series. Firstly Mihawk, when Buggy became an emperor and started dreaming about becoming king of the pirates, Hawkeyes brought him back to earth by telling him that he cannot compete with red hair, black beard and straw hat Luffy. Even Akainu took news of Luffy becoming a Yonko unsurprised, more like he was actually concerned. When Morgans proclaimed him the fifth emperor Akainu was shown angry at such news while Garp still said Luffy had a long way to go before he was that. But now Akainu accepted it and said he became a fleet admiral in the worst era possible. From this observation we can understand that the world is in disarray, and that Luffy is more than established in the world's hierarchy. Even members of the Revolutionary Army mentioned Luffy's achievements when they were celebrating Sabo's victory. They said he is Straw Hat's brother, who has showed his teeth to the world, pointed at the highest of powers and said I stand my ground unfazed. Why are all of these happening? I got a simple explication for it. That would be the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, just one of them was enough to recruit many people of power and invite them to be part of Luffy's fan club. He has shown his teeth in gaining massive territory without even sparing territories of the likes of Shanks. But what about the rest of them? What if they have actively been recruiting rookies to join them? All the territory they must have been gathering all around the Grand Line, all the fights and incidents they might have caused. Not to mention all the islands Luffy visited, saved liberated and made ties accompanied with unforgettable memories. I can almost imagine Hancock, a former warlord and one of the most influential people in the world of One Piece, raising the straw hat flag on her island and decided to be under Luffy. There are too many kingdoms and territories who have done the same, Alabasta, Fishman Island, Dress Rosa, Drum Kingdom maybe even the Sky Island. You must also not underestimate what the newspaper might currently be writing about him. He is after all allying himself with Dr. Vegapunk and fighting one of the five elders, an admiral in an entire navy fleet. Dr. Vegapunk alone has as much influence as an emperor of the sea if not more. Him being with Luffy elevates his status to an all-time high, so I wouldn't be surprised if after Egghead Island we see a significant increase of Luffy's bounty. Our boy has come a long way and is no longer underestimated by anyone, even the legends acknowledge him and fear him. I am happy to have followed his journey for the past two decades, and let us all remember the fallen Nakama who passed away before seeing their childhood hero Luffy reach this amount of greatness.